What's up everyone, welcome to the club. Today you and I are gonna be drawing Withered Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's. For today's lesson, all you need is a piece of paper and something to draw with. I'll be drawing using this black Sharpie fine point marker and you can use whatever you like to color this in. Now you're gonna be drawing our character in layers and the easiest place to start is in the center of the page with the lower jaw. Let's start over on the left side. I'm gonna draw a curve that goes up in the middle and it'll bend that back down towards the right. Now I'm gonna curve the jaw up along the side. So I'm just gonna bend this out and then up. Go to the right side and do the same thing. And we want to bring that up towards the same height. Let's round out the side of the jaw, going out and then in, almost like drawing a bracket. And we'll close out the bottom with another curve. So we'll start on the left. I'm just going to bring this down towards the middle, round out the chin, and go back up towards the right. Now with the jaw in place, we're going to layer the teeth in behind. We want to leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side. So I'm going to draw a half oval. I'm going to go up towards the top and then bring that down. Let's move over towards the right side and do the same thing, going up towards the same height and then bringing that down. Now you want to layer a couple more teeth on either side. So let's start from the top left side of the left tooth. We're going to do that again. We're going to go up and then bring that down. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll do that one more time. On the top left, going up bringing that down. And now from here we're going to draw the inside edge of the head with a large half oval. Let's start from the top left side. We're going to go straight up, kind of round up the head in the middle, go across and then bring that down towards the right. Now you want to add the second row of teeth along the inside. Let's start on the left side, curve this down in the middle, and then back up angle this down and out in behind the teeth. Now I'm going to add a row of smaller teeth along the top. Starting in the middle, let's start with the left side, drawing a half oval, going up and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Now I want to add a couple more on either side. And then move over towards the right and do the same thing. Now along the back, we're going to add one more tooth. Let's start from the top of the left tooth. We're going to bend this up and then tuck this in behind the head. Now just up above the teeth, we're going to draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. A circle going all the way around and then up. Let's line this up on the right, going all the way around. Now you want to add some wires along the inside of the head. Let's start on the top left. I'm just going to draw a wave coming around and then across. Let's flatten off the end. I just want to work our way back up towards the top, just tracing out that curve. Let's move over and draw another one. Going out. I'm just going to make this one a little bit shorter. Flatten off the end. Go back up. Let's add a couple more. Let's add a couple drooping down along the side. So we'll start from the top left, put this down, and then bend that out. And just trace that along the outside. Let's go to the top right, come down, and then bend that up. And again, just tracing that out. Now there's a metal bar along the back of the head. Let's start from the top left, bend this in behind that wire, continue along the inside, bending this down and come down towards the teeth. Now I want to take that curve and flip it over on the right. So just going to line this up. Just go in behind the wires, working our way up towards the top of the head. Now I'm going to switch to a thick black marker and fill the inside of the head in black going around the wires and the eye. Now from here we're going to work our way around the outside of the head. Let's start from this point, let's step down, bend this out, and then up towards the side. 
I'm going to trace this curve along the outside. Going all the way up towards the top of the head. And back down on the right. Now I want to place the ears on top of the head. To start over on the left side, I'm going to draw a curve that comes down. And then bend that out. Let's line this up over on the right and do the same thing. Coming down and bending that out. Now you want to flop over the left ear. So let's start from the inside, bend this up, and then out. And go across the top of the ear with a curve, going towards the outside. Let's bring this down and then in. Now to curve this back up toward the top right corner, going across and then up. Now on the bottom left, we're just going to tuck this up underneath, aiming towards the top left. Let's connect the ear to the head with two angle lines, one on the left and one on the right. Now let's go over towards the right side. Draw the top of the ear going up and out. Let's go to the bottom, then this out and then up. And connect the ends with a curve, coming down and out. Let's give this ear a slight bend from this top point, then this up and out toward the tip down around the side and then back in. Let's trace the bottom section of the ear along the inside. So coming down, across the bottom, and then just tucking that up underneath. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Starting from that line, going across the bottom, and then up, and then we'll trace out the top section along the inside. Let's connect the ear to the head with those two same angled lines. Now we're going to move down and draw the body with the hips shifted over towards the right. Let's start underneath the head on the left side, bend the body, come down and then across, bend this out and then down towards the hip. Now underneath the head on the right side, we're just going to bend this out and then bring that down towards the same height. Connect the hips with a curve, going down and then up. Let's place the bow tie underneath the head, starting with a half circle in the middle. And then along the bottom, bend this down and out towards the side. And we'll curve the bow going up underneath the head. Let's add that trim across the belly, starting underneath the tie on the left, come around towards the bottom, it's going to round this out, go up and in on the right. Now just underneath that knot, we're going to draw two circles coming down in an angle and we'll fill those in black. Now from the hips, we're just going to round this out with a bracket, bend this down and in towards the center point. So we're going to come down a little bit lower in the middle and bring that back up towards the right. Now from the center, we're going to draw the inside edge of the legs, bend this down and out towards the left and right side. Let's go up to the hips, bend this out and in. Let's close off the bottom of the thigh with a curve, coming down and up on either side. Now along the inside leg, we're going to draw a half circle, coming down and just tucking that up underneath on either side for the knees. And then we're going to bend the bottom half of the legs going out. Let's start underneath the knee, bend this down and out same thing on the right. Let's round out the bottom of the leg, going down and up, and then go up and bend that in underneath the upper leg. Now while we're here, we're going to add a crack on the left thigh. Start from the hip, just going to add some angled lines coming all the way down, and then just work our way back up. Let's add a couple wires along the inside. Start from the top, down and out. Trace that one inside. We'll just add one more along the right. Let's fill the inside of that crack in black going around those wires. Let's add a few more cracks on the right thigh. Just fill those in black.
And now we're gonna draw it in the left foot. Let's start from the inside of the ankle, then it's in and then down. And then from here we draw a circle, going across toward the left and then back up. Let's layer two more circles going out towards the left. Start from the top, all the way around, and just tucking that up underneath. And we'll do that one more time. Let's go to the outside of the ankle, curve the foot going out and then down on top of that last toe. Now on the right side, just underneath the ankle, we draw a straight line going across, coming down the sides, and then we'll close off the bottom. From the top corners, angle is up and over towards the right. And then on the right, draw a straight line coming back in towards the ankle. Now we're gonna stack three claws along the outside. Starting from the bottom, then it's out and down is up towards the top and layer two more in behind so we step over and it's out and down and just tuck that in towards the side and then from the top add one more let's add a few more cracks along the bottom of the legs starting from the ankle and add those jagged lines going across and we'll fill that in black and then from the right knee just gonna add one more Now we're gonna go back up to the top and separate out the shoulders. Let's start from the left side of the body, and then bend this up and then out. Let's go up to the top right, bend this out and up. Let's bring the shoulders back up underneath the head, going up and bending that in. Now on the right side, we're gonna add some loose wires coming down. So let's start from the inside, Just draw that wave coming around, flatten off the end, Move over and draw another one. Just gonna draw a short one curling out. And we'll tuck one in behind. Start from the outside going in, continue along the bottom, and then just trace this along the inside. Now we're gonna go back over towards the left side and draw the upper arm. Let's start from the corner of the shoulder, and it's out and in. I'm just gonna come down and just tuck that in towards the side of the body. Let's angle the forearm going out. Start from the elbow, and it's out and down. And it's in and then down toward the bottom of the wrist. And it's in and up towards the hip. Now let's draw in the hand starting with the palm. Start from the corner of the wrist, we're gonna step in, draw a straight line coming down, draw a straight line coming in. And I just wanna angle this back up towards the inside of the wrist. Now along the top, we're gonna to add in the thumb. Let's start with the curve, like a backwards bracket. From the top, go straight out. Then this out, and then down towards the tip of the claw. Taper that up, and then back in. Let's go to the outside of the wrist, draw a straight line going in behind the thumb. Continue along the bottom. I just wanna angle this back down towards the bottom edge of the palm. Now add three claws along the bottom. Let's start with the outside, curve this around and in, taper that back up. Let's add two more. Now let's separate the center of each finger with a curve, start from the thumb, and just working our way across. Now we're going to sign our art and add some color, and that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Withered Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's. I had a lot of fun drawing this with you, and I hope you did too. Make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you enjoyed this lesson, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.